Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the iOSD Mini and FBV gear to your Phantom 2. Now the particular way I'm going to show you this is going to achieve a very nice clean sleek look to your Phantom. You're not going to have any wires hanging out the bottom making a mess. Let's start by taking the top off of the Phantom. Each arm has three 2mm Allen key screws and one small Phillips screw at the very end. Lift up the top gently and disconnect the GPS cable. On the leg of your Phantom 2 you will see the pre-installed CAN bus. Unpeel the white tape from around the cable and disconnect it from the CAN bus. Now undo the four screws that hold the CAN bus onto the leg. The cable that was connected to the CAN bus can now be pulled up inside the body. You can now reattach the cable to the CAN bus. On the bottom of your Phantom 2 you will see four coloured cables and your grey Zemus cable. Pull the four coloured cables back inside the body. The yellow and brown cable is your video out and ground that will go to your iOS D Mini and the red and brown is your live and negative that will go to the power your video transmitter. Separate the yellow and brown from your red and black. Trim off some of the silicone covering so it's ready for soldering. Plug the CAN bus from the iOSD Mini into the CAN bus that we've taken off the leg. Inside of your iOSD mini bag you will find a cable with a white connector on the end. The brown wire from this will solder onto the brown wire that you pulled up inside the Phantom and the yellow wire will also solder onto the yellow wire that you also pulled up inside the Phantom. Don't forget to add heat shrink over your connections. The preferred choice of video transmitter is the Immersion RC 600mW. This is not only small but very light and easy to fit underneath of the Phantom. To achieve a cleaner look I cover the Immersion RC cables with some shielding and seal the ends with a bit of heat shrink. You may also notice that I've trimmed off the green, white and red cables from the video transmitter. This part is completely optional, the only actual cables we're going to use is the yellow video cable, the black ground cable and then the black and red power and ground. Now feed these cables up the leg that has the grey Zemus cable coming out of it. Now solder your red power cable that comes from the video transmitter to the red cable that's inside the Phantom. Then solder your black ground cable from the video transmitter to the brown cable that's left inside the Phantom. The last two cables to solder are on your IOSD mini cable. As you can see you still have the orange and brown. You will solder the orange cable to the yellow video cable on your video transmitter. And the remaining brown cable will go to your ground black cable on your video transmitter. You can now plug this cable into your IOSD. As you can see I used some 3M double sided tape to actually hold the video transmitter onto the bottom of the Phantom. 
it's important to have it to one side so you can still gain access to your battery removal. Before tidying up the cables and closing the lid, I'm going to update the IOSD Mini using the IOSD Mini Assistant. But before powering up the Phantom, please ensure that you have your antenna installed on your video transmitter. Powering a video transmitter without an antenna will burn it out. With the USB cable plugged inside the IOSD Mini, power on the Phantom 2. As you will see, there is a new update. So click Update. Once the upgrade is complete, power off the Phantom, then click OK and power the Phantom back on. You will now see that your iOS D Mini is running the latest firmware version. Using some double sided 3M tape, I placed the iOS D Mini inside here. As you can see, it fits in very nicely. Also take note of where I've now put that CAN bus port that was originally on the leg. As you can see, I've used a single zip tie to hold all the new additional cables together. And here is that CAN bus port. All we need to install now is our Zemuse gimbal. Remove the black 2mm hex screws from the bag. Push down firmly on the rubber isolation mount so that you can insert the screws into the bottom mount. Then screw the screw into the thread of the top arm. Repeat the process for the next screw. Take note of which way I've got the isolation mount. These two holes need to be at the very back of the mount. Now insert these stoppers inside the isolation mounts. The pin will go up from the bottom and then screw on the cap on the top. Do this for all four isolation mounts. Now attach your Zemuse to the remaining grey cable that is underneath the Phantom. Line up your top plate with the holes in the Phantom and use the Phillips screws to hold it in place. Before screwing everything closed, it's a good idea to power everything up and check everything over. Remember to always have your GoPro installed when powering up the gimbal. As you can see, the slider on the back of the transmitter is working perfectly. Now all we need to do is set our ground station up. On this particular monitor, we're using band F. Once you've selected the band, go up through the channels to find the right channel. As you can see, our iOS D Mini is working perfectly. All that's left to do is plug back in our GPS and seal up the lid. And that's it. I hope this has helped some of you guys out. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.